Okay, sorry about that. I had to uh, get the jump box set up here for you guys um, and gals. I got it set up, got it turned on, got 12.7 saying it's coming out of the jump box. On my meter, it's reading 12.51 uh, 12 volts. Okay, so to to prove a point, um, you want to have this voltage when you're checking a circuit. You don't want to have 350 millivolts or three three tenths of a volt checking a circuit. You want to have this amount of voltage going through that circuit. So when you go up to a load component, uh, positive, negative in the connector, or if you're just going down the line of the circuit, you know, tie in to each connection on the positive side, checking for voltage. That's the way you want to do it. But you, uh, another thing to keep in mind is when you're checking uh, voltage, um, if you disconnect a connector you're not going to have any current flow so you're not going to have any voltage drop so what you're reading at the connector open is going to be static voltage no current flow no voltage drop so you could read system voltage at a connection and you could have a wire all corroded only making one itty bitty little connection of wire like this of this size with my, in between my fingers so as soon as you would plug it in, you know, the components still wouldn't work. So, um, what I'm going to show you here is, um, this is a tool that was, it's, was invented by, uh, Dan Sullivan. It's his Load Pro Dynamic Voltmeter Leads. And all it does is, there's a button on here that you push when you're, uh, checking the circuit when you disconnect the connector at a component or if you're going down the line on a positive side of a circuit or if you want to check a ground you can uh, use it uh, like a test light you could uh, put the positive end on positive supply take the black lead and go to the other end of the circuit see if you get voltage on there and push the button to put a load to the ground and then if voltage uh, doesn't drop a whole lot you know the ground wire is good so um, this tool works really well I've been using it now for over four years it's helped me find a lot of problems fast easy and uh, it rules out the obvious you know corrosion and wiring because we have a, a lot of problems where you know I work at a lot of salt corrosion it just happens and with this tool you're able to find it very quickly and uh, you're able to uh, fix problems uh, efficiently and fast. Um, so I'll just give you a little demonstration here. When I load this uh, circuit, I want you to watch the voltmeter. Okay. So right now we got 12.47 volts. I'm going to hit the button on the load pro leads. All right. Now watch the voltage. All right. See how it dropped down a bit, but it didn't drop like severely well that indicates that you have current flow and it's also indicating that the circuit is good the wires are good it can carry a load let off the button circuit voltage goes back up because circuits open okay you're just reading static voltage so but that's what I like about this tool it's just a, in addition to doing voltage drop testing um, I've heard a lot of people say, well, that's just like a test lamp, and my argument is, yeah, it's like a test lamp, but here's the kicker. Since now you've got this, it's hooked up to a voltmeter, okay? A voltmeter can give you a lot of information on what's going on with a circuit, okay? It's a lot better than just a test lamp. The test lamp could be lit up, but, you know, how bright is it? I'm sorry, but kind of hard to tell you know by brightness how good the circuit is so you're basically having a test lamp uh, wired in parallel when you put the load on and the meter is reading the drop across the load inside this tool and it's it's awesome it's a great idea it works um, and not only that um, 
you can even do more advanced testing with this tool uh, with the instruction manual it tells you how to do that it, uh, it there's a 25 ohm load resistor in this tool okay so if you go up to a circuit and say it's a special type of circuit say you got a coil that a coil in a circuit that you're checking it's like 20 ohms resistance 30 ohms resist resistance well say you you know you hit the button to load the circuit you get the reading on how much it drops okay you take that reading and you go to the chart in the book and it'll tell you exactly how many ohms of resistance is in that wire when you load it with this tool okay and then you'll know right off the bat whether or not if that's giving that coil a problem um, I've used that a couple times myself to find problems it, it works very well it works very well um, it's just it gives you a whole bunch more information you know by using the voltmeter and my opinion is why wouldn't you want to have something like this hooked up to your meter so you could instantly test you know the entire circuit load it see if it can carry a load and then you can also use ohm's law you know to calculate you know how much resistance is in that circuit so if you can do Ohm's law, if you can do all those calculations, you can find out very quickly if you have a problem in your wiring or not. So, um, it's basically, you know, in my opinion, the kind of like a, the 21st century uh, test light. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And not only that, you know, you can use it on uh, sensors and uh, there's a lot of different... Uh, inputs that you can use it on to even though I know the manual says the sorry the manual says not to use it on inputs but you can but the problem is you have to understand what you're doing in the circuit while you're checking inputs it's very important so um, I might discuss some of those at a later time but uh, I think uh, later on when I get some time I think I think you'll enjoy it so but anyway, that's pretty much it. I thought I'd explain that and give a good explanation of why you don't really don't want to use the ohm meter checking circuits and you want to use voltage drop, seeing how much the voltage drops to, making calculations if you have to, to get a very good uh, determination if you have a problem or not. So a lot of information in this voltmeter and using this tool. So... Um, I thought I'd just do that uh, to share with everybody. So, sorry it's in my house, but <laughs> it's better than nothing right now. It's really cold outside, so I figured this would be a good time to do it. Um, oh, uh, another thing to keep in mind. Um, say if you're in a obstructed place when you're taking a voltage reading, and it's kind of hard to look at the voltmeter, well, what you can do is get a meter that's got uh, min-max, Go to go to MinMax, okay. Turn that back on there. Sorry. All right, now it's just it's still in recording, but now say just put it in MinMax and then go to the circuit you're checking. Load the circuit. Hold it for about yeah, it's five to eight seconds. That's what the manual says. Let off. Okay, it goes back up now. I'm going to go to min max and uh, okay, max 12.47 is what we had. Minimum voltage 12.26. So, there you can get out of that hole or crevice or wherever you're at, and then where you can see it better, and then hit min, and then you know exactly how much voltage dropped when you loaded that circuit. So, I thought that was a, a pretty cool thing uh, to share. So, Anyway, um, that's my take on the Load Pro leads. Like I said, I've been using them for years now. Uh, very good tool. It'll uh, cut your diagnostic time in half. And uh, not not only that, but uh, the uh, inventor who invented them, uh, Dan Sullivan, he's an electrical trainer. He's a mechanic. He's been doing this for a long, long time. 
very experienced gentleman knows what he's talking about um, I've learned a lot from him um, I highly recommend you you pick up his FET book it's a good read uh, I still like reading it over and over again and looking at different stuff uh, um, I've been repairing vehicles now for 15 years and I'll be the first one to admit I I don't know everything and uh, a technician actually never will if you think about it because every year there's always something new c coming out so but the book's a good read. I learned quite a few things, and uh, I highly recommend uh, you pick it up. Or if you want to go the next step and take a training class, um, I would recommend that too. He definitely knows what he's talking about. He teaches everything from a you know fundamental electrical troubleshooting to advanced classes. He teaches gen set classes. So very very smart man. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. So um, thanks for listening and. Uh, Take care. This is Bus Jockey.